Hey everybody, this is Choice Us again with some KOF 13. Uh, today we're going to talk about some characters that I feel like would be really good for Marvel players. So, um, this game I, I feel like it's a really good mix between like kind of like how Street Fighter plays and a lot how like Marvel plays. Uh, Marvel in the sense that uh, there's a lot of uh, sense of control in this game that you always want to you know keep keep having. Uh, like the person who usually has the most or stays at advantage the longest tends to win and you know That's some something I've noticed about uh, Marvel as well, you know, whoever seems to maintain the advantage is the person who's going to be the victor so With that uh, let's talk about some of the characters that I feel like Marvel players would like Oops, Let's go back to practice mode All right so we're going to talk about four characters uh, in depth, and then I'm going to go over a, a list of characters that kind of, you know, describe some of the other characters in Marvel uh, that you guys are familiar with. Um, so, like, disclaimer here is that uh, I'm going to be kind of comparing them to the characters in Marvel, but, you know, obviously they're not going to be exactly the same, or, you know, some people might have other opinions about how they actually are, uh, but this is just my own, my own take about how I feel like these characters are really similar to some Marvel characters. So first character, uh, it's gonna be Kim. You see a lot of Kim in a lot of the uh, top eights at Evo, because uh, he's a very very good character. Uh, the main reason being that uh, he actually works in like almost every position, uh, mainly for the fact be that he is actually super super safe. Like he has very few uh, very few attacks that leave him at a disadvantage. Uh, so that's really where his strength shine. Uh, that's where his strength is. I like to kind of compare him to to Virgil, in that like you know Virgil's uh, pressure is just like ongoing, and you know whenever you see a Virgil play, uh, at, the the opponent's blocking almost like sixty to eighty percent of the time, and that's going to be the case with uh, against the good Kim. So his normals leave him at a really good advantage. And then really fast run, so he can stay in. And his and his normals are really long reaching, and really 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 safe. So, you know. Okay, so we'll talk about some of the moves he has. Uh, some of his good, greatest pressure tools would be like crouch B, crouch A, crouch B leading into combos, and uh, crouch A leaving on block is at least plus three, I believe. So you can hit this and then kind of run up and make them have to block a little bit longer. Uh, also, stand D, far D is extremely good for pressure. It leaves you plus on block. So, you know, if you're blocking this, you gotta not press a button. You know, after that, you know, there's so much block stun and hit stun that you could frame trap or go into combo. Which, yeah, yeah, there it goes, combo right there. Uh, jump CD, very, very good for for pressure as well, puts him in a lot of blocks then. You could also cancel into this, which is an overhead. So you could also do that with the jump A. Jump A being really good as well. Really great jump in. And, uh, you know, good for leading into combos. Jump C, extremely, really, extremely good, because it covers that whole aerial space and also hits them on the ground. So you can hit it pretty early and it'll hit them on the, hit them on the ground. And you can hit it pretty early, and then you, you can still get some combos. Yeah, so it makes them really good. A uh, couple good pokes. Uh, stand B, extremely good poke. Very long, very fast. And if you could, if you know that it's, if you're with punishing someone, you could, you know, go right in, straight into a combo for a knockdown, or even like, you know, if you have godlike reactions, you can go into a HD combo like that. Um, Stand C also, similar to that, a uh, really good whiff punish, you could actually super cancel it, really really good. And also stand D, very good pre uh, very good poke as well, because the second hit is gonna leave you at advantage. And some of the anti airs he has, you know, flash kick, uh, one of the, no, his would be, the EX flash kick would probably be the standard for uh, testing safe jumps, because it's that fast, it's really really good. Um, and another anti air, uh, you know, like stand A would probably be the anti hop, anti hop, uh, anti air. And stand D is also a good anti air as well. So this, this just does everything for you, this move right here. 
Uh, and then also, backdashing into that is actually a really viable tactic, because that's fully invincible. <laughs> so cheap. Alright, so let's talk about some of his, uh, his main, main game plan. So his main game plan, like I said, is just keep up the pressure, and then you're just gonna keep frame trap someone to death, basically. And then uh, when you get that knockdown, this is an automatic safe jump right here. So they, most characters will just have to block it. Can't just, you can't do anything about it. Just gotta do it. You gotta block it. Cause it's such a low. Uh, the only thing you can really do against it is uh, if you have like a invincible, uh, slow command grab, and then you know if they're not holding up. You know if they don't know about it, or if they're not expecting it, and they're not holding up, then you can tag them for it. But even then, it's still pretty risky. Um, so let's talk about some of his B and Bs. So. Uh, like the one I showed you earlier, you can do three crouching normals, stand B into four forward A, and then the B version uh, of the of the flip kick. So that'll leave a hard knockdown, and you get a safe jump setup off of it. Really, really good. Uh, another one would just be close C into to this uh, D hangetsu zan. Close C into D hangetsu zan. Uh, that would be like a for for punish situation. Even though I don't know, this does actually does more damage, but uh, so yeah, uh, yeah, you could do this. And also, this is probably the most common one that you'll have to practice. Is far D into the, yeah, it takes a bit of practice. So that does a lot of damage. But you get the idea. So, so that combos, and you get into that same combo, and you do uh, about 200 damage. Uh, another, a couple of the metered combos that he has. Uh, uh, so you do crash. Oops, not that one. Uh, let's do this one. I'll call this the Korean combo. So it does a lot of damage, and it's easy to hit confirm. So you do that. Ex Hangetsu Zan. 4 forward A into the D version of the of the flip kick because that works. That's the one that's gonna work mid screen. All right, let's put him out. Out of the corner. And there it goes, and you get. And you also get a. You could get a safe jump set off off of that as well. Um, in the corner, you could also do. Send an extra drive right there. So if you after the EX, you do a B flip kick, uh, B flash kick into into that, which is the, which is the aerial uh, quarter circle forward like kicks, and then you're gonna do a B hangetsu zan and then a D flash kick. So that does a lot of damage. Oops. So there's that. So that's Kim in a nutshell. He's a really, really good character. Uh, you know, anybody who picks him up is gonna probably do really well because he's super good. Also, forget to mention about him that Air EX Hangetsuzan is super invincible, so it blows up uh, pretty much any kind of anti-air, even supers. So that's really, really cheap, and it's di and that's actually somewhat difficult to punish too. So, really, really good. They need to nerf that for sure. <laughs> Alright, next character to talk about is Yuri. Uh, one of the characters I like to use. And uh, I like I liken her to kind of like Felicia, like a better Felicia. Uh, and then and her throws actually lead to pretty good setups. Um, so like she has, uh, she's like kind of like Felicia in the sense that she's gonna be making you block a lot. So like she has a lot of advantage on her normals, especially the stand B. Gives you like people are super annoyed about how much block stun all of this does. Like you could 
you could dive kick from up here and you're still safe. And uh, she has pretty decent pokes. Uh, it's a fireball as well. Uh, great priority on her jumping normals, like especially the jump B, because you could just stick it out really early, and it'll still hit. So you have to just do it all the way from up there, and they'll still tag them. So it's really cheap. Um, another good thing about her is like she has a one fr one frame command grab, so unless you know about it, then you're gonna get hit, and then you can also, you know cancel into other special moves so in the corner you're gonna you can get a lot of damage um, so let's talk about some of her normals jump best jump in normals like she has the jump CD jump B is really good jump D is also pretty good and then jump C is a like the Sakura like jump C so it's really really good um, and then some good ground normals, uh, anti-air normals, mainly you want to use stand B. Because this thing is going to lead into uh, some some setups. So, so you can anti-air with that, like this. Oops. And you could grab them out of the air and then just do a set. You could give them a hard knockdown for a setup like that. And, uh, yeah, so, that's what would be her main anti-air normal, just the, the go-to one. Sometimes you might want to use her DP, just for people who are a little bit further out. Uh, but mainly this one, because it leads to more damage. Uh, good pokes, stand C is really good, stand D is really good, crouch, uh, sweep, very, very good. So these normals are probably the ones you'll go to. Also, stand B is also a really good poke. And then for pressure, mainly you want to use the dive kick and also the crotch bees. So it's going to put you in a lot of blocks. And also stand B, because it puts them in a lot of blocks then. So this is probably her best normal. One of the best stand bees in the game. Um, okay, so let's talk about some of the combos. So the main B and B, uh, you probably want to just do it off the dive kick or just really up close. It's crotch B, B. Stand B, and then CDP, CDP, and you get that. And then if you get a dive kick, you can uh, confirm into a. Yeah, so you see from way up top there, you can still you still get that combo, really really good. So if you can hit confirm it, you can get a lot of a lot more damage. Um, let's talk about some of the uh, throw, com uh, some of the more meter intensive combos. So, this is one that's going to be really useful. You, if you're in the corner, you grab them. C Sai Ha, and then A Sai Ha, and then do the EX Super. It has to be EX because uh, that's the only one fast enough for it. But off of a one frame command grab, you get 400 damage, so it's super good. Really cheap. You can also do it off the, the running command grab. Like super, super good. Okay. Uh, and the mid-screen combos that she has, it's like you could do is... Uh, uh, the one that's really good is if you get the dive kick. You want to do that. And then go. Just one more time. That one time. Let's make a combo. That does a lot of damage just for one bar, not even any drive meter use. Okay, so there, those are some some good combos with that. Uh, you can also do a uh, crouch B into stand B or crouch B into crouch C and do something like that in the corner, and you can also get a lot of good combos off of that. But those are the main things to you know, utilize with her. Like, you know, you want to pressure them, and and you're pretty. She's pretty much a wall. You know, using this. But once you get them in the, once you get them in the blender, that's when you start opening them up. So that's Yuri in a nutshell. So very good character, easy and good pressure. Uh, really hard to deal with.
And, all, and also, this is probably one of the best anti airs in the game too. Stand CD. The hitbox is like three times bigger than what it looks like. So it's really, really good, really fast, and has great recovery. So definitely want to use that. Okay, next character we're going to talk about is Duolan. Uh, this character, uh, a lot of people thought he was kind of low tier when he first came out, mainly because, you know, he doesn't have that great damage output. But uh, he has some of the most amazing pressure, like full screen pressure like that this game can offer. Uh, I like to think of him as kind of like a, a low damage Morrigan, because uh, what his game plan makes it so that you don't want to do anything. Like, you know, I'm just gonna control all this space, and you're you don't want to do anything because you don't want to take that little damage, little bits of damage that I'm doing to you. So it doesn't make him really scary, but it makes him super annoying, and you know, people are just like get really ir irritated when they play against him. Jump. So, let's talk about his normals, like that's gonna be or his main strengths are. So, the jumping normals, best ones he has, jump CD, super fast and really high priority. Uh, so I rarely ever see this get beat by anything, uh, especially if it's like air to air. Um, and then jump D would probably be his other, other normal to use. But jump CD and then jump D, uh, the main ones, and then I would say jump Jump forward B, you know, for instant overheads, and also jump forward A, you know, for, for that space control. Uh, anti airs, uh, he mainly has just crouch C. And his defense is a little weak, so I mean, that's the, the balance that comes from, you know, having a character with such a strong neutral game as him. Um, so the pokes is where his where he shines. You know, as you see, he has forward A, which goes about this far. And then we got forward B, which actually homes on them, so you can always do it from full screen. And also we got the, an EX version of each one. So, like, not exactly sure what they're for, but, uh, you know, you could tinker around with them. This one, you know, knocks them up into the air and you could get a, you know, you get uh, some crazy combos like that. Alright, so let's, uh, and then some pokes, you know, like, yeah, like I said, this pokes, uh, crouch D's, uh, his sweep is actually pretty decent, uh, and also his rekkas are actually a really good poke as well, because they come out really fast and they have a hit, big hitbox. Um, and then for pressure tools, you want to use jump, you know, jump CD, and also crouch, crouch B and crouch A, crouch A being, like, a little bit faster. So it's really good for the pressure. Alright, so let's talk about some of his combos. Uh, main combo he has would either be Crouch B A A. Oops. Rekka 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 into uh, Teleport. So also a lot of people just go straight for the Crouch A's because they're just so fast. And you could get a, 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 a standing C off of it, even mid screen. Yeah, so that's really good. Um, and that's really his main BNB. Uh, you could also do a, a punish with, with a close D, forward A, and then do the same thing. Yeah. Um, and he moves around really well because of his teleports as well. Uh, and let's talk about another a metered combo that he can have. So basically, it comes from the same combo string. So after the B teleport, you can do a uh, EX super, and it'll catch him right at, before he lands. Oops. Try that again. And with this, uh, you can actually do a setup like where you can cross them up. Uh, depend on, depends on depends on the situation, but uh, let's see. Anyways, yeah, there's situations where you can use this stand CD to cross them up and just get some really cool mix-ups. So definitely a very tricky character, and you know 
makes people not want to do much because you're just controlling all this all the space around them and you know you're just flustering them. So that's what makes them really good. Uh, so let's move on to a, another character. All right, last character I'm gonna talk about probably gonna be Ex Kyo, uh, the evil winning character right here. So uh, Ex Kyo uh, has some of the best, some of the best neutral game, neutral like up close game that almost any character can have. Mainly because his Rekkas have armor and are relatively pretty safe. It's really easy to use because of that. So a lot of strings you can just kind of poke with the Rekka, and then when, if, it, if it happens to connect, then you can just follow up with the rest of the series. So really easy. I mean, you gotta, you're going to have to watch out if you get it from max distance, because you're not going to be able to get that second one like that. But what makes him special is the this jump to C. So it gives you so much hit stun, you can hit from the top of the head. And you still get a combo. Yeah, so I, I like to think of him as kinda like uh, Wolverine. You know, you just wanna run up, start pressing buttons. And then it's gonna be just really scary. Alright, uh, so let's talk about some of his normals, some, his good jump in normals, obviously jump 2C, uh, just, down, just jump, jump and down C, really really good, amazing amount of hit stun, uh, and also good block stun, jump D pretty good, has good good reach like that, jump C pretty good as well, does a little bit more damage but uh, has a better angle than like jump 2C does, uh, jump CD, amazing, amazing jump in. Uh, good damage and you know, gives you the advantage if they, if they get hit by that. Uh, also really good for pressure. Uh, so we'll move on to the pressure, you know, with, with this. Same, same, same deal, you want to use the jump CD for pressure. You want to use crouch B for pressure. And also you want to use stand B for pressure. Really, really good. And then also combos into the records. So very good. Um, and also, and then his pokes, stand D is really good. Uh, stand C, I would not recommend. It's not very good. It's really slow and kind of gets beat up by a lot of stuff. But stand D is really the best one. Uh, crouch D, really good poke. Um, and also uh, to fish for some stuff, uh, down forward D is actually pretty good because you could kind of hit confirm and see if you want to go to HD mode just like that. So really good for for fishing for for some extra damage. Um, anti airs his ADP is probably his best one. This one actually has some armor on it as well. So like, if they're pressing the button, they're gonna get hit by this DP. Uh, crouch C is also a pretty decent anti air as well. And then also uh, the EX run grab, pretty good, pretty good anti air as well. Since this one has, this one also has armor. So EX kill is like an armor, just an armor thing. Alright, so let's show you some of his BNBs. So main B and B would come from the crotch Bs. So you could do crotch BB, crotch BB, stand B to the records, or you can stand B B B to the records. And then for punish situations, you want to use close C, close four D into the uh, run grab like that. It gives you a hard knockdown, so you could kind of set up set up some pressure. It's really really good. Uh, some of the metered combos he has, uh, he has some of the more difficult ones, but uh, let me show you one of them like this right here. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, so that was uh, Crouch V V Stand B. Rekka, Rekka, and then as late as you can, do the third Rekka, an EX kick, and then crouch D to, for timing, and then C Rekka, as soon as you can. So that's gonna give you this one. You know you did it right if you get the two, two hits of the EX kick. And then you 
do this Rekka series. It's a quarter circle forward, quarter circle back, and then forward and punch. That's probably one of his most fun combos to do. Um, other than that, you're probably gonna mainly use uh, uh, just his B and Bs because he's definitely mainly uh, a good battery character, and uh, he's gonna be saving up mainly for his HD combos. So that's kind of EX Kyo in a nutshell. You know, just rush down monster, and he also has this overhead, which is really good. You know, you're gonna see that go into over HD a lot. So yeah, go ahead and try him out if you like to. To RTSD. Alright, so we're gonna talk about a couple of the other characters, just at the character select screen. Um, these, uh, again, these are some characters that I'm gonna liken to some Marvel characters, and uh, I feel like, you know, if you like those types of characters, maybe you'll like these ones, uh, you know, for their play style or the, the way that they play. Uh, so the first one I'm talk gonna talk about is uh, Benny Maru. He's a lot like Virgil, and he's kind of like the full package. Uh, he has a great DP, he has good pressure, he has a command grab, and he has really safe uh, safe pressure, and really great jumping normals. Uh, jump D being like one of the best in the game. Uh, so if you guys like that top tier stuff, you know, go ahead and pick Big Mario. Uh, next person uh, I would say is like a Marvel character is Elizabeth. Um, I would kind of compare her to Jill, uh, saying Jill Valentine, uh, in the sense that she's very execution heavy, but she gets you a lot of damage if you can l land her stuff. Um, I although uh, Jill doesn't really land you that much damage, she is definitely very execution heavy, but uh, like her, the mix-ups she has that if you can execute them, they're really, really strong. Um, you know, I would probably ask... Uh, Oscar the answer for some questions about playing Elizabeth because I can't say I have good t tips about playing her, but she's definitely she's we would consider her definitely one of the, the lower tier characters. But if you like having fun when doing swag combos, then I would definitely try out Elizabeth. Um, next one would be the infamous Hua Jai. I would liken him to like he's zero, uh, zero in like su Sugenmu at all times. Because his pressure is like super relentless and uh, and it's really really it's relatively safe. Uh, there are definitely ways to punish it, but it's just like his pressure is so scary and leads to so much damage. People tend to want to just keep blocking the entire time. Uh, and he also you know has his own Sugenmu with the the uh, drinking super, which makes him you know do ridiculous amounts of damage and gives him back all his meter for the combos he does. So. Definitely one of the better characters in the game. Uh, next character, uh, I would say Leona is kind of like uh, more of like a Marvel character. I would say she's like a crappy Magneto uh, in the sense that you know she has she's truly the only character that has like really good high low mix ups in the game that are super super fast, but they don't net uh, the most damage and they're not as safe. So, but. If you can land some of her uh, some of her mix-ups, you know people are going to be really scared about how to block against her. Um, and uh, she has, yeah, that's basically what she does. And she has really good normals to pressure from from a certain distance. Um, next character to talk about is going to be Raiden. Raiden, he's kind of like Nova, uh, in the sense that you don't really know how you got hit by Nova, but it's going to hurt a lot. So Raiden is like that. So he's gonna hit you with something, and it's just gonna hurt all of a sudden. Uh, he has some of the best jumping normals in the game, jump CD, and he has a very strange jump arc. So he can get over a lot of obstacles, and uh, it's hard to contest him air to air and air to ground because the of the angle that he's jumping in. And he has a very special arc, uh, and he also has like uh, this drop kick that is what leads to like you know half life combos for very low amounts of meter. A very underrated character. Uh, you might see, have seen Kane Blue River, you know, tear up the playing field with him, and that's definitely the way to be playing uh, with Raiden. All right, next character to talk about is Daimon. Daimon is kind of like I would say is like a faster Nemesis. Uh, he, you know, Nemesis having like really powerful normals and, and a really scary command grab. 
So that's kind of what Daimon is. He has amazing normals, and he's just gonna walk at you, and you're gonna be scared. <laughs> so that's that's the best description of Daimon. So if you if you like to, you know, if you're kind of like a a geef player, or like uh, you know, he likes to just you know walk up to someone and just not you know not have to worry about much. You might want to pick Daimon. So he's really good for that. Uh, next character I'm gonna talk about is Claw Yuri. Or also EX Yuri as well, it works uh, because both of them play kind of like Wolverine. You just want to run because they have some of the, they have maybe quite possibly the fastest run in the game. And uh, what you want to do is just run up to them and just you know, hit buttons. His close C is three frames and hits like sky high and it's, you know, pretty much works against like, in, for him in every almost every situation. It's su really, really good. Uh, he has great pokes, and he also has a command grab, you know, on top of all that. So it makes him to be a really scary character. And all, also, he has very high damage output. You know, he's going to suffer against zoning, but, you know, it's worth it once you get in and you can deal with damage. Uh, next character to talk about would be Shin. Shin is uh, kind of like Spencer. Uh, and in the fact that you know he's gonna land a random hit and he's gonna convert it for tons and tons of damage and you're gonna be kinda angry about it <laughs> like he has uh, his own version of the bionic arm he's a, he has like a safe bionic arm which is really good the EX roll and that leads to tons and tons of damage uh, it's actually I believe it's a free cancel so he can cancel it into another move and get some damage off of it and then if he has a bit of drive meter you're gonna eat some fatty, fatty damage. On top of that, he has some counters that lead uh, lead into a similar amount of damage, so he's really good. Uh, next character will be Takuma. Takuma I like to uh, compare to Hagar. He's like a fast Hagar with fireballs. Uh, although he doesn't really have the, the pipe, uh, his jump CD kind of acts the same way. Because uh, he has a move where he can juggle you. Uh, he, he could do an anywhere juggle, meaning like he can hit you anytime in the air and grab you basically you know and he's can he can do like a full combo off of that and he probably has uh, the cheapest kill combos in the game meaning uh, you don't have to spend as much meter to kill a character in one hit so this guy is like a true Marvel character one touch one touch death you, you go to Takuma okay last character to talk about will be Shen Shen is obvious uh, in the sense that he's like just he's a lot like Spencer he has his own version of bionic arm you know goes like three quarters of the screen and just tags anybody that's pressing buttons or doing something that they shouldn't be doing and also he has uh, but he w I would say he definitely has like better normals than than Spencer does in, in in the world of Marvel he has better zoning capabilities because of that so he can kind of stand his ground and not worry about you know people that are gonna try to outpoke him because he's gonna be the one outpoking people and also out prioritizing people uh, with his own normals so that's that for uh, this episode um, I wanted to thank uh, Ryan and the cross counter team for giving me an opportunity to share my knowledge of KOF I hope that you Marvel players got a little bit more insight about the characters and maybe a little bit about the game uh, hopefully you guys can, you know, uh, want to check it out since Steam Edition is out. So you know, go ahead and grab yourself a copy and play some of the some of the folks online because the online is actually pretty decent. So uh, with that, uh, if you have any more questions or if you want to see any more KOF videos from Cross Counter, go ahead and tweet me at choice sauce eighty five c h o y s a u c e eight five or go ahead and contact you know Ryan. Gutex, aka Gutex, or some of the cross counter team to see if you'd like some more of this stuff. So, with that, I'll uh, catch you guys later. Bye.